In this video, we'll learn if else condition using a for loop. That is this one, if else condition using a for loop. Now, I can explain you this if else using for loop with the help of this example. Now, these are the database that's a student scores. These are the names of the students, the scores which students have got in the exam. And this is my job to give the result as pass or fail. Suppose I'm a class teacher, I'm an instructor of the students entire class. Now I have to see whether the students have scored marks above 35. If it is above 35, I'll give them as pass. If it is below 35, I'll give them as fail. That's it. Only two conditions that is if and else I can use it. But why we need to use for loop? Because I have to do it for repetitive, repetitively from row number 2 to row number 20. For 19 times I have to do it. Right. So for two conditions, if else I have to use and for repetitive tasks I have to use for. So if you see if else using for loop. So how do we do that? It's very simple code. So I've already written a code at the back end. I'll just open and show it. I'll go to developer tab. Click on this visual basic. That's a VBA editor. Now, this is the macro which I've written. Let us see. Let us understand sub procedure if else using for loop. Dim x as integer. I have defined a variable x. For x equal to 2 to 20, you might be thinking, why did I start from 2? x equal to 2 to 20 because student scores start from row number 2. The first row is only for the heading part. Now, if cells x comma 2 dot value cells x comma 2 in the sense this one is column 2 this one is column 2 and row number 2 so x comma 2 this is the second means it stands for the column greater than 35 if it is greater than 35 then the values x comma 3 that means value in this column will be given as pass if not the value in the third column will be given as fail that's it so if you observe first time the value of x will become as 2 so 2 comma 2 greater than 35 2 comma 2 that is this one greater than 35 no it is less than 35 so the answer i'll get as fail right so if i execute this step by step let us see we'll get an idea here i'll execute it step by step i'll click on this f8 step into f8 f8 it went to the else condition if i click on this if i click on this place so you see this one is less than 35 so i've got the answer is fail let us see the next one if i execute this one second one is also fail third one third one is also fail let us see the fourth one yes fourth one is given as pass so fourth one is working pass if i see the fifth one fifth one is also working pass sixth one seventh one and so on so all these results i'm getting as totally pass so if i just click on this run button so if you observe i've got the result as pass and fail for every place now if i check if 38 it is given as pass for 29 it is given as fail which is absolutely working fine right so i hope you have understood first thing is for if else condition i need pass and fail results so i've used if else condition here i have to repeat it for multiple times so therefore i have used as for condition for loop for x equal to uh, 2 to 20 now this is very simple for 19 people 19 students it is easy so you can calculate pass and fail how many pass and how many fail but suppose if you want to just highlight who who people which people have passed and which have failed so why not color only those areas which are fail okay if people have failed I, i'll give the background color as red if people have passed i'll give the background color as uh, you know green itself so how do i uh, do it so in the pass condition, what I'll do is I'll put a color here, cells x comma three dot interior dot color equal to vb green. What I've done is, if the person is pass, along with that I want to give the background color as vb green, right? And if the person is fail, I want to give as red color. So cells x comma three dot value, sorry interior dot color equal to vb red that's it now what i'll do is i'll delete this everything the result i'll delete it now i'll execute this step by step so that we'll see the answer what exactly is happening is step into step into yeah so see first line is executed this one is 10 is given as fail but along with fail it will also give the interior color as red so if you see the color is given as red so i can easily understand the red color means it is fail the green color it is pass so if i execute this again step by step you see the second one is third one now you see the fourth one it's showing as pass 
again if i execute the fifth one it's showing as pass so pass which is given here it is in the green color the fail is given in the red color now if i execute all together at one go if i click on this run button if you see the results i've got it wherever there's a fail i've got the red color wherever there's a pass i've got the green color right so i hope you have understood how do we use for loop with the help of if else condition and you can calculate marks of the students in an easy manner that's all for this video